Okay, everybody. Um, welcome. My name is Alex Watson, and I'm one of the librarians at the J.D. Williams Library. And today we're going to be going over how to um, use some library resources in finding and refining topics and keywords for your upcoming research paper. The first thing I thought I would show everybody was how to get to the University of Mississippi Libraries page from the main University of Mississippi Libraries page. Um, we're tucked up here at the top. There's a little link that says Libraries. It looks like it says Research Libraries, but that's just bad web design. Don't click on Research, just Libraries. We don't have any international ath athletics either. You'll then be brought to this page, which lists all the libraries on campus. You will want to click on the J.D. Williams Library link, the very first one on the page. It's at about eyeball level with the students squatting in the ugliest part of the stacks during exam week when uh, outlets are as valuable as gold. Okay, so this is the page uh, from which you will have to access all the resources that I'm going to be showing you here today. Um, the first thing I want to point out to you guys is the Ask a Librarian tab right here. Um, oh, before I forget, you'll notice that we have a uh, new website coming soon banner down here. Um, we are going to be upgrading to a new website hopefully around uh, spring break. However, it will contain exactly the same tools and they will be in more or less the same place as they are on the current website. So if the website changes drastically, don't be spooked. Just look an inch or two to the top or bottom and you'll still be able to find everything that I'm showing you here today. But Ask a Librarian provides you with ways to get into contact with a librarian. There are a lot of us, and we really do encourage you to contact us if you're having any trouble finding resources or accessing resources or anything like that. Um, it's our job to help you. You're not bothering us. You're not pestering us. If nobody asks us any questions, they'll eventually decide librarians are superfluous and fire us all. So on this page, and again, this page will also be upgraded on the new site, but everything will be in more or less the same place. You have the ability to send us an email to a communal email account. Um, if it's a question that is a little bit more detailed and isn't, uh, isn't terribly urgent, you can give us a call. We're the first number here, um, as long as there's a librarian at the desk. You can come and see us in person, um, provided that you're not a distance student. We're on the first floor near the printer. And I think that... Uh, you will probably find the library chat here very useful. Has anybody here ever used the uh, library's instant chat? Okay. Do you remember what you asked? What's up? <laughs> did they tell you? Did they tell you what was up? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm glad that you had uh, were able to get your question answered. Let me go ahead and demonstrate how this works for you. Um, if you click. You can type in here, but if you click the green arrow right here, not the superhero, but the icon, you can open this up in the new window. As you can see, I'm going to be making it very large so that people in the back can, uh, can see it properly. Um, if the chat is offline, you will see chat is offline, so there's no possibility of typing something in here um, when there's nobody around to answer it. If the librarian doesn't answer you within a reasonable period of time, or if you get a library student that's not able to answer your question at all, please do send us an email through that um, communal email address and we will do our best to get back to you as soon as we can and um, solve any problems that you might be having. So I'll go ahead and type in a message to our librarian, which right now should be Brian. I don't know why I capitalized freezing, but uh, we don't expect you guys to have perfect punctuation and grammar skills when you're typing something in here either. Now, while we're waiting for Brian to uh, respond to us, And as you can see, we can type in our little smileys. 
Um, let me just point out to you guys that this um, manila folder icon here allows you to send a file to us. Um, while we will accept uh, cashier's checks, most people use that to send us their assignment sheet. Um, you can use this envelope here to email the chat to yourself if we've given you links or something that uh, you would like to save for future reference. You may uh, email that to yourself so that you don't lose it when you close your chat window. Needless to say, we will not be saving this particular chat, as amusing as it may be.